First thing I want to mention is if you can't get my joint simulator working after following this video step by step, then please feel free to reach out to me on Discord at lotion hashtag 0666 and I will go into a video call with you and guide you through installing it myself. Next thing I want to mention is avatar scaling systems break my assets. If you use one, it breaks the particle effects. And the last thing I'm going to mention before we jump into this is the bong simulator does not, I'm going to repeat that, it does not support the joint simulator at the moment. In the next few days, I will be updating the bong to be advanced like the joint, so you actually have to put weed into it. And I'll be making a new asset on my Gumroad that has both systems in one. Anyone who has purchased either one or both of my assets will get this asset for free or will receive the appropriate discount after showing proof of purchase. So we've covered all the important topics, so let's go ahead and jump right into this, guys. First thing you're going to want to do is open up the underscore joint sim folder. And then here you're going to see joint FX, joint menu, joint param, and then Sophie's hand tracker. First thing you're going to want to do is take Sophie's hand tracker and drag it into the main hierarchy. Do not drag it into your avatar's hierarchy. Like if your avatar is highlighted like this, that means don't release. You want it outside. Outside. Like a dog going to the bathroom, you want it outside of the avatar's hierarchy. And then you want to keep this packed. There is no reason you should unpack this prefab. You should not be hitting this button. It, it should stay bluish purple, whatever you want to call it. It should stay this color forever. There's, there's no point in unpacking this unless you guys are swapping out models. So we're going to go ahead and throw that inside of our avatar's hierarchy now. And then we're done. We can close this up and we don't have to touch our hierarchy ever again during this tutorial. So the next thing we're going to have to do is probably the easiest part of all. Open up VR Labs, go to Avatars 3.0 Manager, and we're going to want to check if we have Write Dynamics on. So I forgot to throw my avatar inside of the descriptor up here, so let's go ahead and throw that in. And then we're going to want to click on this WD right here that stands for Write Dynamics. And we're going to want to go through this and see if our Write Dynamics are either on or off. Like, as you can see, all the check marks are unchecked, so that means our right dynamics are off. Now, if you guys see mixed right dynamics, meaning you see some on, some off, that means you need to change them all to on, if you or all to off, if you know for a fact they need to be off on your avatar. But you do not want them mixed, meaning you have some on and some off, because that will create issues with the avatar, and there's a very good chance that could be why the asset isn't working for you. So since this avatar has all right dynamics off, which is the most optimized way to have this, we needed to know that for the next part. <clears throat> so the next thing we're going to need to do is go to FX, scroll down to Add Animator on Merge, and we're going to just want to click and drag our joint FX into the animator, Merge on Current, and then we're going to add another animator on Merge, hit the bullseye target, and type in WD, and then we'll see all of these ones here. Now we need WD off, so I'm just going to go ahead and type in off to narrow down our selection. And as you can see, you have 2, 3, 4, 5, and 1. Now we are using the 2 item tracking system, so we need WD off FX 2 item tracking. Now if you guys had right dynamics on, you would type in WD on, and you would select WD on FX 2 item tracker. So let's go ahead and double click that. Scroll down. I'm going to click merge on current. And then that is it. Those are the two FX layers we need to merge. Now we need to go down to our parameters. And we're going to scroll down and we're going to copy my joint parameter in here. Click copy parameters. Then we're going to hit the bullseye target again. And we're going to go to parameter 2. Because this is for the Sophia system. As you see down here it says assets slash Sophia's pickups slash two item system. So this is the one that we want. Just double click it. Then click copy parameters. And then now that's it. We have all the FX, all the parameters in. We have the asset on our avatar. The only thing that's left now is to add this to our menu. So the easiest way to do it is to click on your avatar in the hierarchy. Scroll down in the inspector until you see expressions. It might be open or close. Just go ahead and open up expressions. Click menu. And then go ahead and click on your menu again. And then click add control. And then from here you can name this joint sim or joint menu or stuff you spawn in you can name it whatever you want it it really doesn't matter 
Then we're going to want to click submenu for the type, which is important. We're going to want to leave the parameter blank, and then we're going to hit the bullseye target on the submenu, and then we're going to look for joint menu, which is right here. Now that we have joint menu in here, we are done. So now we can go ahead and test this out. If you guys have the 3.0 avatar emulator installed, just go up to tools, go to Jester manager, and then we can go into play mode. Theme so I can see what I'm doing. Expressions, joint sim, turn them both on. Actually, I'm going to turn the lighter off so it's easier to see. And then I can just click on the papers for testing purposes, drag that in turns into the joint. So I'm going to go back up to Jester Manager, Expressions, Joint Sim, turn on the lighter. Then I'm going to go back to this joint here. Actually, I'm going to click on it up here. And then as we can see, the joint's now lit. We can click and drag this back down to the ashtray and it should unlight. And it unlights. So that means this is completely working, 100% fine. Everything is good to go, so we can exit play mode now, and then we can upload this to VRChat and we're good to go. Um, one thing I do want to bring out is if we go to Joint Sim, I recommend going through stuff and just going through each individual thing, making sure all of the materials are selected to Pyomi. So you just go to Pyomi, 7.3, Pyomi Tune. And just go ahead and do that with all of the materials, except for the particles. Particles should already be selected as that because the shader is inside of the package you're importing. We go to joint, check papers, make sure that says Pyomi 7.3, go to lighter, check all these, Pyomi, 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 so we're good to go here. We go to nug, go to the material and it's good, it's Pyomi. Rolling papers, Pyomi. The smoke particle, that, that's all good to go, that's its own thing. And then that's it. We're all done. It's as simple as that. Hopefully uh, you guys were able to follow this guide easy enough. Hopefully it was a lot more clear than my last one. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this system. Uh, that's going to be about it for this video, guys. This is AJ170 signing out. See you guys next time.